How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Spurverts. It's me, Craig Mitz, joined by Emma Story. How's it going? It's good. How's it going with you? I'm good. You're back. I'm back. I've had a couple of weeks away. Oh. Well, not away, away, just working, working away. Has to be done. I'm sure they missed you. All right, let's talk <laughs> about what we're going to be covering on Spurverts today. So, Poch talking about Kane not taking corners. Yes. And the fact that he was scarred by Newcastle pretty much like me. Felt the uh, same way as us. Yeah. Roma closing in on a Fazio deal. Woo! Spurs vs Inter, that game's going to be live on ITV4, um, earning a lot of money from our academy sales and uh, being linked possibly to Rafa That's Silva great. and Danny Drinkwater, not sure how much truth there is in that, and Sky sources say that Pritchard is on his way to Brighton, yes. but let's kick it off with Poch. Poch. So, he's come out, he's done an interview. What a man. This interview, did you watch it? Did I, as if I didn't need more reason to love Poch. Yeah. This interview was just brilliant. He hit the nail on the head. Completely. Let's talk about the first thing that he talked about, which was Harry Kane. Mm. And saying what all of us said for the entire duration of the Euros is what the hell was Harry Kane doing taking corners? Hasn't he got like Hodgson's number or something? You'd think he would have just been like, Roy, Roy. Mate, I told you not to get my players injured and make them look like idiots. Yeah, and oh, look what happened. Cheers. Yeah, I mean... (laughs) It doesn't take, it's not rocket science. I still can't figure it out. Like, <laughs> I, I don't understand why he would, like, you want your number nine in there, literally, to, to put score the ball in the, the back goals. of the net. That's so, his job, is to put the ball in the back yeah. of the net. He's six foot two. Yeah. You know, he'd want to be on the end of set pieces. Completely. It doesn't make sense. It like, makes I, no sense. He's, he hasn't done it for Spurs. He's, no, he's never taken a corner kick for Spurs, I think, in his life. Ever. Every time Ever. Ericsson was just getting them wrong, which was quite a lot. And Ericsson always needed a couple over. to like yeah. get a diet. Lamella took over and put in a few decent ones, but Harry Kane was never, he would never even enter my mind no. to take a, a set piece. No. So what was that about? It, well, I don't know. And clearly Potts didn't know either. He said he was sat there in the Bahamas having his holiday time mm. in the Bahamas. Oh, nice. Oh, Although it was raining, oh, which is why he watched a lot of football. Oh. But uh, yeah, like, just, just why? Just why? So there's the first thing. He's completely on our wavelength. He completely gets it. And then the second thing. And the second thing. Oh. I haven't recovered. I'm hoping the new season will just knock it out of me because that's the last bit of real yeah. football from Spurs I've taken in. I'm, I'm getting there with the recovery. Getting there. Mm-hmm. I'd say I'm a lot further down the road than I was when I was crying my eyes out on Spurred on, on okay. the day of the match. Cheers. I think it's all going to come flooding back to me, though. <laughs> On the last game of the season, every season, for the rest of my life. Until we win the league and then it won't matter anymore. Yeah, until then. Yeah. But Poch, you know, being the, the, the god that he is, basically said it ruined his summer. Just like it ruined all of our summers. It ruined his summer. His poor missus. I just, I just hope he's being genuine. I hope he's <laughs> I not, think he I is. I hope he's not, you know, putting that out there because he knows that's how we feel and he, he wants that, you know, that relatability. No, come on now. The last thing you want to do, and you should know this, is risk the wrath of your missus. Yeah. If he didn't mean that he would, you know, he would not risk the wrath of his missus if he didn't really, yeah. really mean it. And he, he said it ruined his summer. He said he was miserable all through his holiday. Grumpy, so. sulked, didn't want to talk to anybody because he was so angry. He actually wanted to kill his players. And he said it was a real shame because normally after a game, mm. you can get them back in the next day and you can yell at them. And he said, and I couldn't do that because they just went straight to the Euros. And he said, even when I was texting my players saying like, you know, wishing them well for the Euros, I had to keep my mouth shut about how I really felt about the Newcastle game. I know it. He wanted to rage. Rage. We we love love you. We love you. All right. Roma. Now, apparently, You're very excited. Roma want to give us actual currency for Federico Fazio. Actual Euros. Real money. money. (laughs) Like real, not Monopoly stuff. Real... (laughs) Actual currency for Fazio. Yeah. How has this happened? I don't know, but it's amazing. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take anything. 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 But they're I... saying four million. Four whole million. For Fazio. That's nearly what we paid for Deli Alley. Just let that sink in just for a this second. Is, this is incredible. And the manager came out at Roma and said they think he thinks he's got a good character, mentality. Well, he's if, won the you know the Europa League. I mean, in fairness, he, he, he has got a good character, good mentality. He just hasn't got any ability. And it's interesting that it's Roma because, you know, everyone knows that the Serie A is a very defensive league. Yeah. And I don't know what the Roma manager Roma's is seeing. Roma's a decent side. Well, what yeah. is this about? Well, yeah, I don't know, but I'll, I'll take it. Fazio, don't let the door hit you with a good Lord split you. All right. <laughs> Spurs versus Inter Milan, mate. Speaking ITV4. of Italian sides. Yes, it's been, it's, it's been announced sides. that it's going to be shown on TV. It's good, isn't it? Yes, I'm excited. I'm excited. But why, the thing is, I'm, I'm trying to figure out why it's being shown on TV. 
on ITV4. That's just a bit random. Just because, I mean, maybe because it's not like, because the International Champions Cup got showed on Sky most yeah. of it. So maybe it's just like ITV4, like, yeah, we'll have a bit of that. And also, they can mm. jump on the bandwagon of the fact that all our boys, our England boys, our Euro boys will all be back in action. It will be like a first, it'll be like a Prem game. Oh, I'm excited. Kind of. Um, <laughs> what are you expecting from the game? What can we take from it, do you reckon? Well, I think, Do you think it, it's something where we can really read into what, what we're going to look like next season? Well, I think certainly more so than the first two games oh, yeah, because, definitely. you know, we'll actually have most of our first team yeah. actually back with the exception of Dembele, who I can't imagine will play because it's a bit pointless given that he can't play for the first month of the season anyway. Yeah. And obviously Vertonghen is still on his way back from injury. But other than that, I would expect to see, certainly for the first half, our first choice 11, which is really exciting because we've not seen any of our guys obviously since oh, the debacle them. in the Euros. Yeah, miss, miss them a them. lot. Miss Inter Milan. Lot. Is there anyone we should be wary of? I mean, will Icardi be playing? Or is he at the door? What's going on with him? Oh. I don't know. I don't no, know. You're to know Sorry. I don't you're know. You're not exclusive. What's going on with Icardi? <laughs> he's definitely not coming Spurs, is he? No, he's definitely not coming Spurs. I can tell you that. Yeah. No, um, I think the thing is about Inter, we've got a really good record against them. So, you know. Is Can Dembele play in this? He can, he can, but... Do you think he won't I think it's he's pointless. the first four Well, games? yeah, because I think Poch has got to look at the guys no, who are going to be playing. Feet a bit, though. It's been a while. Of course it's been a while, but, you know, it's still going to be a while. Yeah. It'd be like giving him a little taste and, and then taking, taking it away, away again. From him. That's the worst. Because then he'll be, you know, done for another month. So we're looking at Wanyama and Dial. Hell yeah. Holding midfield. Hell yeah. Interesting. That'd be great. Interesting. Be I'm great. excited for that. Because we've not seen him together yet, so... We'll have to see what happens. It's yeah. on Friday. All right, so apparently we have earned £36.25 plus from academy sales since 2011. See, our academy's awesome. We're a breeding ground. We are. We're like hatching eggs. <laughs> Pokemon talk, if you know. And that is what we're doing over here. At Craig Spurs. is Building obsessed, careers. obsessed with the Pokemon, hey, by the way. Watch out obsessed for him. This is an understatement, Pokemon Emma. demon. Almost as of, uh, like, I, <laughs> see, the thing about Pokemon, we're not going to go into Pokemon chat. 2011. Yeah. That's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. I don't think anyone's moving them out like us, shipping them, boxing them, bagging them. Well, but what I like about the whole kind of, yeah, we're shipping them out, but the ones that we think are really going to make it, we're keeping. Mm. We're bringing through. Shout and out I to like Marcus that. Edwards. Oh, yeah. Cheyenne Harrison. All of them. Yeah. So what we got to do, we, gotta, we just actually got to admit that our academy is doing bits. It's and amazing. our academy's like West Ham are crap. Yeah. Dog crap. Which Chelsea, in, dog crap. Which, in Arsenal, fairness. dog crap. Yeah. yeah. In, in fairness. dog crap. <laughs> yeah. You done? You done? Newcastle, dog crap. <laughs> well, oh, we're doing the championship. So well, we obviously. Obvi we don't talk yeah. about Newcastle anyway. That just brings back bad memories. Yeah, in fact, you're wearing a very Newcastle-y kind of top. Oh, what my God. This? Don't do this to me. What is this? What have I done? Oh, my God. Hello. What is this? I should go top and I should just take it off. No, actually, don't. But Thanks. I know you're not perfect. <laughs> perfect so uh, I'm going to do that. But yeah, it's really good news for us because if you look at, you know, historically, the likes of, I dare I say it, the West Ham Academy has been known for bringing through loads of good players yeah. and making lots of money from their sales, sending them to big clubs. It's great that we've kind of like surpassed that kind of level and we're mm. on it now. And like I said, the mixture between selling on the ones who we don't think are going to make it for us and then bringing the guys through who we do think are going to make it. I mean, you know, Harry Kane. Yeah. Need I say more? Uh, is really, really good. It's it's heartening for the future as well to know that they're coming through. We'll probably double that in like the next two years. Well, I mean, we're yeah. Just going crazy with it. Given the way transfer fees are these days, yeah, give it a couple yeah. of years and it'll be like 100 million from mm. our academy. Well. Speaking of transfers, so hey. the London Evening Standard. Seamless. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> they're saying that Spurs are considering a move for Braga midfielder Rafa Silva and they're saying 10 million and also the Sun. <laughs> They're saying that Danny Drinkwater could be coming to Spurs for 20 million. What's your thoughts on these two potential signings, right, I'm, rumours, I'm bullcrap? Good. Well, yeah, I'm going to chuck the Drinkwater one right out there. Bullcrap, to thing. use Craig's phrase. Yeah. I mean, A, it's a ridiculous amount of money for us to pay for a, for a player that we don't need. I mean, he won the need. league, but 20 Nah, not we don't, Danny That we Drinkwater. don't need. Yeah, and he didn't even go to Europe. we don't need. Also, he's wanting 80 grand a week uh, from Leicester. They're in negotiations over new contracts at the moment. Pardon? Yeah. You heard me, £80,000 a week. That's fairly near the top of our wage structure. Isn't Vardy on like 90 it. now? Yeah. And that Mahrez is probably going to get a new Buffett deal. If Mahrez stays, yeah. This is ridiculous. I what think what, Leicester, basically, what? No, basically, the way you need to look at this, you know, it's exactly what happened with Vardy, is that these Leicester players, and fair play, they won the league. Yeah. They're all negotiating new deals. Got and they want, they want a bit of leverage. Got to their heads. And the way that you 
Danny, if leverage. you think you're paying the Euros, you haven't even got Euros experience, mate. Know your role and shut your mouth. The way that you encourage leverage is to suggest that other clubs might be interested in you and maybe you'll go for a little walk out the door. And that's, I think, well, that's completely the case of what this is. Yeah. Rubbish. His agents on stuff. Rafa Silva. See, this is what? a weird one because yeah. I know we don't really need more midfielders, but, you know, I was having that conversation about having winners in our side. Yes. You know, he's won the Portuguese Cup over there. Yes. He's won the Euros with Portugal. Yes. This guy's won stuff. Yeah. He could, you know, he could bring that experience to the team. Only 10 million. That's not a lot in this climate. That's, I mean, that's not a lot. And that would kind of be, and he's quite young. He's what, 23, I think? Yeah, 23. So those two factors kind of work in his favour, especially when it comes to like kind of Poch's mentality when it comes to signing yep. people. But I do find it a bit weird. Is Where's he going to play second well, fiddle? Where would he play? Yeah. That's that's my kind of like. Mm, 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 the thing is, about we was going to go for one album though. It didn't happen. And now it didn't this Uncle Lou thing is really up in the air. No one knows yeah, what's going on. Yeah. Although hopefully, I mean, if Ng has got his work permit sorted, as is now being reported in some places, that you know, if that's the case, then that should hopefully go through in the next few days, next week. So if the Uncle thing happens, it's looking very unlikely that Silva. Well, I, I would have thought so, unless yeah. Poch knows something that that we don't. Which of course he may well do because he's the manager, the all-knowing man, the all-knowing God, man, like you the, said. Yes, God. So, you know, but I mean, I'd be surprised, but... Let us know, let us know what you what think you of think. Rafa Silva. I don't know, do we need him? <laughs> don't we need him? All right, Pritchard, Alex Pritchard, a man that's been linked with moves. One of the players that Poch said, yeah. you know, you can... See you later. Get lost, basically. But well, it looks like... Uh, he was linked to Swansea and Newcastle, but now it's looking like Brighton. He's taking is. a drop in leagues. Well, yes, he's taking a drop in leagues, which is unfortunate. However, the good things for him, like he's in talks uh, to sign for Brighton. We're looking for £8 million. Pounds. Um, which is decent amount of money. So decent amount of return. Ever played any Premier League football? Exactly. Um, the thing about Brighton as well is that um, obviously Chris Hutton, yep. legend, Tottenham legend, is a manager there, um, and he did actually try to take him on loan um, early January. on in the year. So he's fond of the kid. So he does like him. Obviously sees his potential. I mean, the, he, Pritchard does very well in the Championship. So yeah. you know, maybe it is a good fit for him. Brighton are a team we're pushing for promotion. So if he takes that step back now, that means that you know this time next year he could be coming back to the Prem yep. with Brighton. So yeah, I think, generally speaking, it'd be a good fit. It's a shame, really. He has so much ability. Um, it's a shame it hasn't really worked out at Spurs, and he obviously got that terrible injury, yeah. um, which then kept him out. Him. Yeah. I don't know why. Oh? I don't know why. I don't know no. what he saw. I mean, he's always banging on about him, but now it looks like he's leaving. Well, yeah. How, I mean, how reliable are these sources? I mean, they come from your people. Yes. I would say they're very reliable. Yes, I do. Eight million Brighton. Talks oh. are progressing very well, is what I've been told. Guys, let us know in the comments <laughs> below what you think of Pritchard. Also, let us know what you think of the Poch interview. Fazio going to Roma, you must be happy with that. Are you going to be watching the Spurs vs. Inter game on ITV4? You're going to see the first team in action, yes. first time in ages. Also, our academy. I mean, like, we're a cash cow. What can we say? What's your thoughts on that? <laughs> let us know in the comments below if you've enjoyed the video. Make sure you drop it a like. If you're new to Spurred On, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you soon. Keep it casual. Hello and welcome to Monday's edition of Tottenham Transfer News with me, Jack Bryden. We've got a lot to get through today, so let's crack on. First up today, the Evening Standard are saying that we are ready to make a £10 million offer for Braga attacking midfielder Rafa Silva.